I was gone for five days straight and this is what I came home to. Welcome back to Keep On Growing, and I'm excited. You know, we're getting the kitchen set up. We'll talk about that in a second, but what I really want to talk about is all that lettuce and, and all that kale. And like I said, I had to go on the road. We left Thursday morning, 5 a.m. in the morning, and we didn't get back till Monday at 8 o'clock at night. So five full days, we were gone. When I left, we went ahead, topped everything off, and we just left it. Now. Uh, we do have a timer on, the lights come on, uh, we turn them off at around 11 o'clock at night, they come back on at 6 o'clock in the morning, and everything looks just fine. I mean, look at all the lettuce. You know, it's a little bit, it's a little leggy. Uh, we have been harvesting off of this before we left, and the kale, you can see the front of it here has been picked over. So we have been using this, so um, these were a little fuller, but we grow what we eat, right? So this isn't just about me growing something and, and showing you a pretty picture. We actually use this stuff. But this is what I'm real excited about is that because of lockdown and that the last year, I wasn't on the road a lot, so I could just grow things and take care of them. But the reason why I lean towards this kind of system, the off-grid hydroponics, is because I was on the road all the time and, and I was always having a hard time growing a traditional garden. Um, which, you know, I don't knock a traditional garden. I love them. We still have a, a herb garden outside and, uh, you know, we grow loads and loads of herbs. But um, as far as like vegetables, lettuce, kale, collards, you know, all the bigger things, uh, we had trouble with it. So the, the cracky system or off-grid hydroponic system really gave me the chance to, to enjoy growing some of my own food. And I, I've had fun over the years and sharing with all of you, and you guys have been spreading the word to people as we talked before, people all around the world are doing this. And uh, it, it's a fantastic thing. So, you know, this part of our mission, like we said, we can't feed the world, but we can teach the world how to feed itself. And and you guys are just doing wonderful, and it, it, it touches my heart every time I, I get a, a message or a comment or, or an email or something saying that somebody somewhere, you know, is growing some of their own food and enjoying it. And especially when you get those emails where it says it's really helping people. So, you know, that that's all on you guys. I, I really love you for it. But this is the natural evolution of this channel because over the years I've gotten some questions over and over and over. And one of those questions is, uh, what do you do with all that food you grow? Another question is like, the kale, do you really eat all that kale? Or do you really eat all that pak choy that you grow? And the answer is yes, you know, we, we eat as much as we can, you know, we grow a little bit more so that we, it's, it's better to have a little more than, than not enough, but we do eat it. And just like you can see right here, you know, it's been picked off, you know, we, we, we do eat it. And what we want to do is share that with y'all because some people, you know, they see it, they want to grow it, but then, you know, you can't, if they only know one way to prepare kale or collards is just to cut it up. And, and boil it for a few hours with some hammocks or something and sooner or later you get tired of collards. We're going to be showing you guys all kinds of different ways to do food. We're going to be showing you guys easy simple things to do with it. We're going to be showing you um, fun things to do with a party. Uh, it's going to be anything from indulgent food to healthy recipes. It, it's going to be a whole bunch of things. It's not going to be just cooking just the veggies. It's going to be cooking all types of different proteins. It's gonna be mixing everything up. It's gonna be something for everyone. So, like I said, this is the natural evolution of things is we've been showing people how to grow nice and easy. We're gonna be growing a bunch more microgreens here. We're gonna be doing that with you guys, showing you how to start growing some of your own food. So, one of our first shows are gonna be planting out a bunch of microgreens. And as we watch those grow, we're gonna be preparing meals in that. And then they're gonna grow into baby greens and leafy greens. And we're going to be using those as part of our meals. So this is going to be fun. It's going to give you guys a lot of ideas, whether it's just sitting down and, and cooking a simple meal for your family or entertaining for a lot of people. 
this is going to be something for everyone. It's going to be fantastic. I'm excited about it. My wife is too. And uh, we just can't wait to get started. But, you know, we're working on the set. I want to do things right. Uh, I don't want to just turn on the camera in my kitchen and, and just cook a meal for you. So it's taken a little bit of time to actually set up the studio. You know, we've got, you know, we're getting, you know, a refrigerator, sink, you know, all the things we need in the kitchen, the utensils. My wife and I, when we did cater before, we had a lot of um, utensils and flatware and glasses and everything that we needed for catering, you know, parties between 50 and 100, 150 people. And uh, as we moved into a smaller place and, and started to settle down a little, I started, you know, the YouTube channel. Uh, we didn't do any more catering, so we took a lot of stuff and we donated it to, you know, Goodwill. It was to a good cause. Um, and I never thought that I would be cooking on this channel, you know, not to this extent. So um, now we're having to ha go out and source everything and, and buy new things because we got rid of all of our catering stuff. But it, it is a lot of fun because we're reliving a lot of the memories and the things that we've done. The, the parties were fantastic. We're going to share that with you all, um, how you can just knock the socks off of your guests and everything with, with simple little ways of entertaining and taking your food and presenting it to in, in a unique way. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. And, and like I said, me and my wife right now, just thinking about the different things that we've done and the things that we, we can share with you, it, it's just blowing our minds. We're just loving it. So lots of exciting things coming up. And the reason why I want to do this in a live stream is because when you watch a cooking show on TV, you're a viewer. You, you just watch it. Maybe you can record it and watch it again, but, but you can't interact with uh, the host you know, especially you can interact with the other guests. And in a live stream, you're going to be able to do that. You're going to be able to chat with other people. You're going to be able to ask a question. If you miss an ingredient, you can ask a question and we'll answer it for you. Uh, we'll be able to pop your little comment up on the, the screen. Um, you can chat with each other, share your ideas. You know, if you're already a fantastic cook, you know, I'm not going to say that what I'm doing is the one way and the only way you can do it. If you're a fantastic cook, you know, whatever we're cooking that night, get in there and share it with other people too. You know, there, there's going to be something for everyone because what's more communal than, than food? What brings people together? There, there's no one thing that brings more people together than cooking fantastic food and enjoying it with a lot of other people. So I can't wait to get started. We're still going to be growing food. We're even gonna be out in the garden because we're gonna be growing food indoors. We're gonna be cooking indoors. We're gonna be growing food outdoors and we're gonna be cooking outdoors. So we're setting up a space out there near the greenhouse. Uh, fall's just started, we're excited about that. you know. So we're gonna get our fall crop started. We're gonna get a space set up out there where we can go and, and take some of that food and, and directly cook it out there, share that with you guys. So we're getting all this stuff together, doing a lot of planning and one little hiccup in the road was that my wife has to have uh, outpatient surgery towards the end of the week it's just her gallbladder and that but y'all uh send her you know your thoughts and prayers and and well wishes and then that and just you know down in the comments just tell her you're thinking about her because she's you know anytime you have to you know get put to sleep to do a little something it's a little worrisome so uh, we're going through that this week so hopefully by next week we're going to get the show started and uh, we're not going to take up a lot of your time. It's not going to, if you guys have seen live streams on YouTube right now, you're probably going, oh God, you know, the, the three hour live streams or whatever. This is going to be nice and simple, short. We're going to be coming on several times. Uh, I haven't figured out a schedule yet, but we're going to pick a topic. We're going to have a meal. We're going to come on. It's going to be like on TV where it was between a half hour or an hour. And we're not going to take up a lot of your time. Your time is precious, and I understand that. So um, what we're going to do is come in, say hello, show you the menu. Keely's made a little blackboard down here. She's going to uh, show you what we're going to be cooking. We're going to get right to cooking, get that out of the way, and then open up to maybe a little Q&A. It can be about the cooking or it can be about gardening. And then we're just going to um, let you guys go ahead and enjoy your night and, and not keep you too long. So um, we're doing a lot of planning. I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. And uh, thank you to everyone that's out there because um, all of your help and all of your support is, is contributing to this. That, you know, that this is not just us going and showing you a recipe. This is us taking food, taking something from seed 
and growing it and showing how almost anyone anywhere out there can do stuff like this and then taking some of that food and showing it how to incorporate it into your everyday life and and sharing that with everyone too so it's a fantastic thing i love you guys you know just keep doing what you're doing because like i said there's people all over the world growing some of their own food um a uh, lots of them have taken different ideas that we've started and tailor made it to to fit their own needs and our keep on growing uh facebook group people get in there and share their ideas they they get in there and ask questions other people jump in there and answer uh i just like to let things go i don't want to seem like the the know-it-all you know where somebody asks a question i'm the first one to jump on and answer it I like to sit back and, and see all of you guys interact with each other and, and see what you've learned or, or what you've adapted and and share with other people. And it, it's just a fantastic thing just watching a thing kind of evolve and bloom like that. So um, if you guys aren't in it, you know, jump over there, look for Keep On Growing. Um, it, it's lots of fun. We're going to be sharing these recipes. Uh, lot, lots, lots to coming up. So the, there's really just too much to talk about right now is it's just blowing my mind so i want to keep some things a surprise for you too so i just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that we've got fantastic things in store uh we can't wait to share it with y'all and you know you guys as always you know keep sharing it up keep you know helping each other out there's a lot of you out there that have sent me pictures and, and emails that you know that they've built their own downspouts and they've built their own containers and they're growing stuff and they've actually started building some of them to share with other people too and help other people out and, and that really does my heart good um there, there's so much that's coming up i know we haven't had a whole lot of videos last month but uh there was a lot of planning and prepping and and, and building stuff out so uh, there's a lot of fantastic stuff on the way so you guys keep doing what you're doing be you let's make this world a better place Lift, inspire, keep on growing, be the change. Till next time, take care.